I don't want to give the impression that when I went to MIT, I had a checklist of things to do. Maybe I did, but on it was not <laughs> write a puzzle column, nor certainly write one for 50 years. This is MIT alumnus Alan Gottlieb, editor of MIT Technology Review's Puzzle Corner column. Most people know him as the puzzle guy. I'll tell you, I don't think of myself that way. If you say, Alan Gottlieb, what are you? Well, professor of computer science, I'm a married man, I have two adult children, one grandchild. I would include in there, but it wouldn't be as high as the ones I just mentioned. I've written a column for Technology Review for 50 years. But back before the Puzzle Corner ran in MIT Technology Review, the column actually got its start in now defunct student publication, Tech Engineering News, when Alan was still an MIT student. I did it in Baker House. That was my junior year, so I was on the sixth floor in a pie single in Baker. I know those that desks are shaped like this, and I had, I'm sure, lots of papers strewn out all over them. I walked around the dorm or other dorms to try to get other math majors to submit some solutions or had to write them myself. Soon after, the column was picked up by MIT Technology Review, and that has been its home ever since. It's sort of surprising that people aren't tired of it. And I get a number of solutions, and solutions that show real effort in their production. One of Alan's favorite solutions comes from fellow MIT alumnus, R. Robinson Rowe, from the class of 1918. He sent me pages of, I took this equation, multiplied it by three, put it over here, subtracted it from that equation, got this one and this one over here. When you got to a certain point, he had 17 linear equations and 17 unknowns. It showed a real desire, determination, and he got the answer right, too. I can't, unfortunately, print all the beautiful solutions I get. Because editing the column and making it fit is a puzzle in itself. Every issue is exactly, to the line, two pages, one double page. And if the solutions are too short? Oh, good luck. Find a solution that's longer, come out with more comparison, maybe put two solutions, maybe go comment on a previous problem. That has happened. The interesting thing about my column is not the column, but its longevity. 50 is a big number. I don't have a target anymore. I mean, I'm not even thinking of 75 or some, or 100 or anything crazy like that. Now I just do them one at a time. Puzzle Corner is something I do. 